So I hear a lot about an urban mandate. Have you heard people talk about that? We have an urban mandate to reclaim the cities. How do you reach cities? And I'd like to suggest two ways, one through planting and renewing churches that are contextual to the city, and then secondly, by establishing citywide uh, gospel movements, contextual churches and citywide gospel movements. You know what the urban mandate is? I'll give you the urban mandate in the words of Jesus. Very specifically in Matthew 11, then He began to denounce the cities in which most of His miracles were done because they didn't repent. A completely different kind of context, an urban context, and they don't seem to be effective. And everybody says, what's wrong? It must be those awful city dwellers. They just don't love Jesus. When actually it's because we haven't created contextual churches. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles that occurred in Tyre and Sidon, which occurred in you, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Nevertheless, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will descend to Hades. For if the miracles that occurred in Sodom, which occurred in you, it would have remained to this day. Nevertheless, I say to you that it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. And while the contemporary world hasn't seen the miracles, they have had the revelation of God written. Churches that are contextualized for the city have to be extremely culturally sensitive. You can't reach cities, you can't reach center cities unless you're bringing people together uh, from different cultures. And rejected it. There is an urban mandate, and that urban mandate is to pronounce judgment on all cities that reject the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, A church committed to combining the the various people of the city, uh, the different cultures in one church, it's going to create a... it's going to take a lot of ingenuity, it's going to take a lot of creativity, but most of all it's going to take a lot of discussion and it'll probably take a lot of debating. And to warn them, as they should be warned in Revelation 18, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, heaven having great authority, and the earth was illumined with His glory. And he cried out with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place of demons and a prison of every unclean spirit and a prison of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the passion of her immorality. And the kings of the earth have committed acts of immorality with her. And the merchants of the earth have become rich by the wealth of her sensuality. I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not participate in her sins and receive of her plagues. For her sins have piled up as high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back, even as she has paid, and give back to her double according to her deeds. In the cup which she has mixed, mix twice as much for her. To the degree that she glorified herself and lived sensuously, to the same degree give her torment and mourning. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am not a widow, and will never see mourning. For this reason, in one day her plagues will come, pestilence and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire, for the Lord God who judges her is strong." That's the urban mandate. Tell the the cities what is coming in divine judgment. But in cities, artists are part of your constituency. They're kind of an ethnic group. Uh, They have their own culture. They have their own way of thinking about things. Uh, When artists come in and listen to your music, they hear it very differently than the way most people do. And if you want to have an artist-friendly church, you have to empower the artists. You have to bring them in. You have to say, what do you think of the music? What do you think of the way in which we do things? Uh, The uh, the arts have to be taken very, very seriously by an urban church. When the whole currently booming global economy is crushed into hell. Hell. 